This is the world of country music, an expanding world, growing wider every day as a new generation of fans discover the excitement of talented country entertainers. Here is one of the best. His name is Leroy Van Dyke. Records sell millions. His story and his talent are featured next on Country Music's Star Route. With your host, Rod Cameron. And featuring Miss Lori Collins with Glenn Campbell, the Randy Van Horn Singers. And saluting Leroy Van Dyke. Now, here's Rod Cameron. Hi there, and welcome to Star Round. By about 1927, a country singer by the name of Rogers helped get the recording industry started. Since then, it seems that country music keeps getting rediscovered every few years. Then a western or folk or bluegrass trend sweeps across the nation like a brush fire. When country music goes to college, they call it hootenanny. When country music goes to college, they call it hootenanny. But no matter what they call it, it's all country music. The kind of music that made the nation sit up and take notice of a young fellow by the name of Leroy Van Dyke. If I see you tomorrow on some street in town, pardon me if I don't say hello. hello. I belong to another, it wouldn't look so good to know someone I'm not supposed to know. Just walk on by. out how you got started in country music, talk about your family. Right now, I just wanted to say welcome to Star Root. It's a pleasure to salute your career. Thank you very much, Rod. I'm glad to be here, and I'm mighty happy to have a career to salute. <laughs> Remember back when the little Collins kids first started out? Larry was only nine, and his pretty little sister was only 13. Well, pretty little Lori is now a pretty young lady with a great big voice. Here she is with I Miss You Already, from an album by Leroy Van Dyke. The time has come You're telling me goodbye can't stop you if I try. I've had 
Nice, Lori. For you fans of the Collins kids, Brother Larry has promised to join Lori in the weeks to come. Now, Leroy Van Dyke was a Missouri farm boy who learned to sing country music when he was about 12 years old. That didn't mean he wanted to be a country singer. He planned on becoming a livestock auctioneer. He had a cousin with an auctioneer's chant that used to hold folks spellbound. So Leroy entered an auctioneer's school, and that was about the best move he ever made. He learned to trade well well enough to sit down and write a tune called The Auctioneer. Overnight, the tune and Leroy were smash hits. Hey, well, all right, sir, here we go down. What are you going to give for? I'm a 25 to give 30 now, five. Who'd have been a five and another hundred dollars on the binder? There was a boy in Arkansas who would listen to his ma when she told him he should go to school. He'd sneak away in the afternoon, take a little walk, and pretty soon you'd find him at the local auction barn. He'd stand there to listen carefully, then pretty soon he began to see how the auctioneer could talk so rapidly. He said, oh my, it's do or die, I've got to learn that I'll try, gotta make my mark and be an auctioneer. When I find out a bidder now, $30, $30, will he give me 30 make it 30 bid to mama, $30, will he give me 30 who will be the $30 bid? $30, bidder now, 35 will he give me 35 to make it 35 a bid of 35 who would have bid it at a $35 bid? Just he practiced calling bids both night and day. His pap would find him behind the barn just working up man. All the storm man he tried to imitate the auctioneer. Then his pap said, son, we just can't stand to have a mediocre man telling things that auction using our good name. I'll send you off to auction school, then you'll be nobody's fool. You can take your place among the best. $35 So from that boy who went to school there grew a man who played it cool. He came back home a full-fledged auctioneer. Then the people came from miles around just to hear him make that rhythmic sound that filled their hearts with such a happy cheer. His fame spread out from shore to shore, he had all he could do and more, had to buy a plane to get around. Now he's the top in all the land, let's pause and give that man a hand. He's the best of all the auctioneers. $45 bid and now the $50 bid, will he give me 50, make a 50 bid, and the $50 bid, will he give me 50, who will bid the $50 bill? Fifty dollar bid now, fifty five. Will they give me fifty five to make it a fifty five? A bid of a fifty five. I sold that home for a fifty dollar bill. Hey, well, all right, sir. Open the gate and let them out and walk them. Here we come a lot of number twenty nine in. What are you going to give for? I'm a twenty five to get thirty now. Five. Would it be to pop another four now? Five. Would it be to pop another fifty now? time now, a young fellow by the name of Glenn Campbell has been coming on big in country music. As a guitar player, he's considered one of the best, as you folks who collect Glenn's recordings know. 
Well, here's the singing side of Glenn with another Leroy Van Dyke hit, Dim Dark Corner. Love can live in a dim dark corner. Love meets sunshine, the rain and the air. Yet here we are in the dim dark corner, tasting forbidden fruit and to much in love yeah. What will become of us I guess in my heart I know That one of these times Your conscience will keep Thank you, man. The room in your dim, dark corner for me? Well, there's uh, plenty of room on the other set, but wow, I don't know how high up it goes. <laughs> well, there's one thing about country music. It always tells the truth. So Leroy Van Dyke's big hit, Happy to be Unhappy, must have happened to somebody he knew. <laughs> Everybody says I'm foolish to let you fool me like you do. But they don't understand that I can't stand the thought of losing you. Oh, if they could see inside of me what my heart goes through, they'd know I'm happy to be unhappy and I'm glad to be your fool. Yes, I'm happy to be unhappy and I'm proud to have no pride. Yes, I'm happy to be unhappy just so I'm walking by your side. Oh, you don't want me and you told me Laugh at my love like you do Yet I'm happy to be unhappy And I'm glad to be your fool Yes, I'm 
unhappy to be unhappy and I'm proud to have no pride. Yes, I'm happy to be unhappy just so I'm walking by your side. Oh, you don't want me and you taunt me to laugh at my love like you do. Yet I'm happy to be unhappy and I'm glad to be your fool. Yes, I'm happy to be unhappy and I'm glad to be your fool. a certain beat about a hoedown that makes folks start tapping their feet and clapping their hands, even if the tune is called Black Cloud, like this Leroy Van Dyke hit, which Laurie and Glenn are waiting to do. Well, there's a black cloud hanging over my head, down to my last spot, with that old black cloud hanging over my head, there ain't no such thing as good luck. On the very first Saturday of every month, I go to town to get me some pay. When I ask my boss man about his law, this is what my boss man says. Well, there's a black cloud hanging over my head, down to my last butt. With that old black cloud hanging over my head, there ain't no such thing as good luck. Well, I earn my living by the sweat of my brow, work hard at my job every day. Well, that old black cloud hanging over my head, he's gonna drive all my dreams away. Well, if it wasn't for the help of the woman I love and to tell my troubles to, well, there ain't no telling what that old black cloud might drive this poor boy to do. Well, there's a black cloud hanging over my head, down to my last butt. With that old black cloud hanging over my head, there ain't no such thing as good luck. I go to see in the ground, go to grow me a tree, this is what that black cloud done. It's been all the locusts to eat at the trees, now ain't I the lucky one. And one of these days when I'm laid away, I know what that black cloud can't wait. It's gonna hang over me on judgment day and keep it out of them a pearly gate. Well, there's a black cloud hanging over my head, down to my last butt. There ain't no such thing as good luck. There ain't no such thing as good luck. Yeah. Morning, Leroy. All right. That was mighty nice. Thank you very much, Rod. When we asked Leroy about his family and where he lived and what he did in his spare time, he said, Just come on out to the house and see for yourself. So we took the Star Road cameras to Nashville, Tennessee, and brought back this look at the Leroy Van Dykes at home. Shall we roll it, Leroy? Let her go. The Star Road cameras found Leroy Van Dyke just arriving at his brick home in Goodlettsville, a suburb of Nashville, Tennessee. Leroy's pretty wife, Sue, was on hand with her son, Ray, to welcome Daddy home. Now, Sue can tell you that the auctioneer sure can make up his mind in a hurry. They got married after their second date. The Van Dyke home overlooks a private lake on about four of the prettiest acres you'll find anywhere. The business of being a star means long sessions at the typewriter, short cups of coffee, stacks of correspondence, and many, many phone calls. Even though his fan mail keeps growing every year, Leroy still manages to answer most of it personally. Working a tractor is old stuff to a former Missouri farm boy. Of course, the crops have changed a bit. Here, Leroy is harvesting a bumper crop of leaves at the edge of his lake. Since he spends so much time performing away from home, 
Leroy looks forward to even routine household chores, like yard work. <laughs> well, it was siesta time anyway. <laughs> this cabin is half a hundred years old, the first residence on the Van Dyke property. Today, this historical landmark serves as a guest house. A natural spring well feeds the Van Dyke Lake. Now, if this were a wishing well, folks might well ask what more this young couple could want. Leroy has a wonderful family, lots of talent, and a career that's in high gear. The famous Ryman Auditorium in Nashville. Now, you might call this hall Leroy's second home. If you're looking for him most any Saturday night, try here first at the Grand Old Opry. Church-going affairs and country music have always gone hand in hand. That's why songs like These Hands, as sung by Leroy Van Dyke, are such an important part of the country music heritage. These hands ain't the hands of a gentleman. These hands are calloused and old. These hands raise a family. These hands build a home. Now these hands raised to praise the Lord. These hands won the heart of my loved one. And with hers, they were never alone. If these hands build their tasks, then what more could one ask? For these fingers have worked to the bone. Now don't try to judge me by what you'd like to be. For my life ain't been much success. Though some people have power, yet still they grieve, while these hands brought me happiness. Now I'm tired, and I'm old, ain't got much gold, maybe things ain't been all God above, hear my plea, when it's time to judge me, take a look at these hard-working That was just beautiful. Thank you. Well, we've come to the end of this star out and the salute to a great young performer. Roy Van Dyke, thanks for allowing us to bore your career for our show. Thank you, Rod. It's been a pleasure. I'll be looking forward to next week's star route salute. Until then, this is Rod Cameron saying so long, everybody. <laughs>
Gary Alexander speaking for Star Rock. Our show, Country Music's Big Salute to a Gold Record Recording Star, comes to you every week from Hollywood. Star Rock is a medallion production. Thank <laughs> you.